Investigators have widened their search of the Atlantic Ocean as they discover more debris from Air France Flight 447. But the key to understanding why the plane crashed somewhere on the ocean floor in the plane's black boxes. ABC's aviation correspondent Lisa Stark has more. Searchers may be able to recover the first bits of wreckage today, even as they continue to look for more debris. The biggest piece found so far, 23 feet long, discovered some 60 miles from other wreckage, causing some to suggest the plane broke up in midair. Automatic maintenance messages sent by the plane indicate a growing series of electrical and equipment failures just before the jet went down, according to published reports. There's a period where you see many systems degrading very, very quickly, which again starts making you think that there was something major going on with the airplane. The failures began just 10 minutes after the pilots themselves sent a text message to the airline, indicating they were encountering turbulence and thunderstorms. All clues that may help investigators who also hope to find the jet's black boxes, voice and data recorders. Robert Ballard, who discovered the wreck of the Titanic, says these are tougher ocean conditions than he faced. Somewhere in there is a black box and very rugged terrain at extreme depths. So it's about as bad as you can make it. The boxes can survive in up to 20,000 feet of water and they emit a sound, a ping. But water temperatures can affect how far that sound travels and the mountainous ocean floor can block the signal. It's a signal that's only guaranteed to last 30 days. So it's a race against time. And that flight data recorder may have monitored as many as 400 systems on the plane. The cockpit voice recorder should contain the last two hours of conversation. So you can see why they're so important. Robin? Absolutely, Lisa. Thank you. And for more now, we turn to ABC News aviation consultant John Nance. Thanks for being here in the studio with us, John. Good to see you, Robin. The new information that we heard in Lisa's report, a second debris field found 60 miles from the original one. What does that tell you? Well, it, it almost couldn't occur unless the airplane had come apart in flight. At first, when we thought there was just one, that was a conclusion. It came in as a unit, and now it looks like it came apart in flight, and that's supported by some of the other things we're seeing. And we heard at the end of Lisa's report, of course, the importance of this right here, yeah. the so-called black box box, which is actually orange, so it's easier to, easier to spot. What kind of abuse can it take? Almost anything. I mean, this thing can take uh, up to almost 3,400 Gs, the more modern versions of this. It can go down to 20,000 feet. It can be subjected to 1,000 degrees centigrade temperature. I mean, they're almost indestructible. It's down there. It'll be mangled, mm -hmm. but it's down there. We saw, uh, we have a photo from the Egypt Air Flight of 1999 mm -hmm. that crash into the Atlantic and as mangled as it was it was able to provide some some vital information it, that's the box right there that's absolutely right and this is about what it would look like or even worse but the the interior of it is basically a computer chip that's why it can take such abuse we have to find that this is a whole new class of airplane not just the Airbus but mm -hmm. Boeing's like it we have to know what happened here and weather still seems to be a factor. They were talking about those, those not the pop-up storms, but the electrical storm. You know, nothing's <laughs> off the table here, because not, nothing is easily explainable in terms of how this airplane came apart. Uh, we do have a cascade, as, uh, as Lisa said, of, of things that went on. Uh, it could have been that they got into turbulence. We could even have a fire that was progressively killing off systems. Nobody knows at this point. Well, hopefully they'll find that black box and be able to answer some of those questions. I, I'm optimistic we can. I hope so. John, thanks so much.